Oh, what's going on, guys? I'm Adolid, and welcome back to another episode of Oxen Free. Last time, there's a whole bunch of stuff happened. We had another run in with Clarissa, and she's still really fucking crazy. We had a run in with her dead brother, too. I mean, it was a really, really kind of depressing moment. I mean, for her, it could have been a nostalgic moment that she just had a chance to converse with her brother one more time. I mean, it is a really tough moment if you think about it. Um, also, we found at like a, an upgraded version of our little walk uh, radio. We have a wider range of frequencies, which actually makes sense because there are some locks that uh, noted these frequencies that we could press to and we couldn't do it before. So this is going to help us find more secrets in the game because, again, they said that she's left little notes here and there. And if you go to her frequency in different areas, it should open up these little secrets. And that's what I'm going to try and do this episode, is go to find these secrets, if it will let me. Because I don't know if the game is almost over or not, and I really do not want it to end without finding these secrets, because these secrets tell you what happens, actually happen. And one thing we already know is that the submarine was hit by friendly fire. So, again, let's go ahead and start this episode. Okay, so here we are, and actually I didn't even have to start anything. It already brought us to a letter if you just walked right on it. I'm gonna go to it and see what it says though. I just wanna hear what it says. Turn on the Lima India Golf Hotel Tango for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima ah. India. Man, that is so cool. And it tells you. I it, didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. There's a similar statue of the soldier in Maine, where I grew up. My memory of it, my memory of it is that I think part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's uh, protest pro protestations, and my closest friend from childhood, of course, was thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made after the daughter of Canola. Canaloa crewman Francis Salter asked, I don't know why a marker may be for the hope that I once had, or the, for the hope I once had to help people. Ooh, she's, so she's not just like an owner for this place. She is something different. Okay, so now I'm going to see if I can go back. Oh, I cannot go back. That's not good. Well, that's not good. It doesn't allow me to go back. And she's no longer giving out the 105. And again, wow, this music is really loud in my ears. It kind of sucks, though, that I can't go back. I mean, maybe there's just going to actually be more to the game. I just I just really don't want to go there and all of a sudden it just, boop, it ends. <sighs> Oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. How have you been? Any, uh, terror? <laughs> My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh, it's a win? Better than it could have been, I guess. But if the radio's the thing... Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. She's Have you seen nuts. her or heard from her? Yes. Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Pretty sure. So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? Yes, patience. If we're still going to go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. God, this radio sometimes is super creepy.
Praise my glory. Please, praise Please me. have a boat. Please have a boat. Please praise. have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Oh, there's a boat. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. <laughs> yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. I'm going down she here. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to slip back and forth here all summer. Dude, why can't I see what's going on down here? Boat looks kind of small, though. Is there anything else over here? Oh, there's a down. There's a downstairs. There's got to be something cool in here. Ooh, I can actually enter basement. Oh, this is cool and scary. Oh, speaking of which. Okay, so she doesn't offer anything in here. What's... Huh. Ren, you were right. There's, like, a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Let's just look. It'll probably just be more whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, it might be the, I don't know, the deed to the island. She made a lot of, what should I call these, s slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Kinda hoping it would kinda hoping it would replay something. I guess not. She's not even saying anything. I wonder if that means it's like there's nothing in here for me to Oh. Oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, Thank you. it's not no, no. It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan keys? They... they have to be in the house. For the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. I like how Nona, she was like, it's a boat that requires a key. Look at the boat. And <laughs> like, what, what do you think it would require? It's not a rowboat. We all gonna try and row all the way back? That's a lot of rowing. What are you get? Oh. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. Oh, what's the frequency gonna be this time? That's the shitty thing about this new thing. There's a lot of frequencies. Is a nifty gizmo. That's pretty cool. What is a cool house? Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. Thought what you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Oh, kitchen sense. window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay. Sure. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school. Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. So now we're looking for a key. 
Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. I have no idea what that means. Religion. Sheesh. Okay, there's a lot of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay. Why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Wow. It's sad to think that, like, before, you know, when you got that flashback with Alex, that she was actually really wanting to be, like, good friends with her. But since she blames Alex for the death of Michael, she's just not gonna let up on her for any which reason. Which is pretty, pretty depressing. Okay. They all went to the basement for some reason. There's some other stuff. Diagram. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? It's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. What do I know? Maybe they needed to chart uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. Be good to be talking to aliens. Really good. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the... The people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? Think Ren secretly hates me since I kind of put my faith in you over him in pressure cooker situations? No, he'll be alright, I can tell. He looks at you like a sister. That doesn't drain easily. <laughs> Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Cool, an attic. Oh, it's a chest. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. Looks like I didn't it's have to write it down. Radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I don't know, something about ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating. Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. <laughs> Is this, ah, the boat keys. Got them. Great. Perfecto. Why do I have a feeling that it's not gonna All be... right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. <laughs> Red really... Red's looking a little pale. Oh, they all kind of look pale. Oh, shh. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what what's going on? Fuck. You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way? <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. What the fuck? Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Are they asleep? I hope they're asleep, not dead. Nona, can you... can you hear me? Holy crap, this is weird. Come on, Jonas, I... I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. How do... where do I go? Oh... The doors are locked. I'm kind of stuck on where I'm supposed to go. Ah, oh my god! Are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. Yeah, no shit. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? 
In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without understanding your footing, you still acted. Don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in house. Holy. We will find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. And what if I... What if I don't, huh? There's what if so I just many. stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's, it's your choice. choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, radiation. Ten. Nine. Eight. Is it. Are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models and maybe the X rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? A notch. A notch. I don't know what you're talking about. Four. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away. Picture of a duck called Quack Quack Quack. But four. The, the picture of. of I guess it's Maggie Adler and Holy shit, somebody. This is, is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and well, only one survived. And in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Holy fuck. You can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what it seems to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You. You had your t you had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Holy fuck. Dude, what in the... So, oh man, they're planning on, like, serious. It's a serious possession. And Hopefully I got... this will work as usual. Did another one just appear? Good gosh, that's so creepy. Like, they're planning on pretty much possessing you and taking you over. <gasps> Dextro. Michael should go to school. Tell Michael he should go out on his own. Okay, seriously, who are you? So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. 
Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. Clarissa? Uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. You're yeah. in, like, trouble. Yeah. God, that all yeah. Really... Yep. We kind of really are. So, so I mean, Christ. If Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... <laughs> I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost? Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah. But how do we do that? Well, uh, a good question. Maggie? Ah, I think Maggie Adler might have had some sort of a plan or a, a scheme or something to fix what's going on. What possible plan could Maggie Adler have? First of all, she's dead. And second of all, she was like the island Mother Goose. She wrote in her journal or something or other about tuning into the source of the problem in the cave. And I think she was talking about the ghosts. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All Sweet. Right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's, uh... It's Epiphany Field. Epiphany. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I just realized I'm Nona right now, because I, I think I messed up the word too. <laughs> uh, good lord, this game is awesome. I love it. It's such a cool story. For just a walking simulator, but but man, so now we know that these ghosts are bad people. Well, they're—I mean, they want their life back. So I mean, they're as bad as they can be. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January '52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos, yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh... Oh. It's sweet. We're learning. Boo! Okay, all right, we get it. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or... Whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Like steel. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Might well, have to. I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're <laughs> boned. Precisely. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Yeah. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. So use the response station to open the bomb shelter. So I, I, yeah, I was right. I do get to go back to the woods. And All right. Great. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. <laughs> Thanks. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! All right. Man, see, I thought it was going to be the end. I, well, I mean, I guess it would have been pretty dumb. If it just ended there and we had no idea what was going on. But now we do. We get to go back over here 
to the bridge stand and then figure out which I hope I wonder if it's gonna yeah okay so I get to go back to the Epiphany Fields and see the statue because there the, he meant she mentioned specifically the statue and also the bomb shelters over here too and then I get to go over to the woods and get the other stuff the more of the anomalies and then I think there's some more in the bridge stand too I don't think I get to go anywhere else though I think I'm pretty much stuck So yeah, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to call it quits for this episode. It was only one, pretty much one area. You know, it was this whole area. But this was, a, another, again, another deep, deep area. Because there's a lot of stuff going on. We know that the ghosts, they are pretty much after us. They are wanting our guts to pretty much live their life that they could. But they have to take their time to do it. They have to take the night in order to pretty much soak in, soak in us. And then they can take us. So, again, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Oxenfree, and I will see you all next time.